So atoms having three charges. One is what your electron. One is what your proton. Proton. And another is your what neutron. Right. Electron yeah. is what negative charge. Proton is what positive charge. And neutron is your what neutral charge. Right, Ian? Yeah. Neutral yeah. meaning neutral charge, right? No, zero charge. No charge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is been written here the charge particles in the matter. Okay. There were so many scientists who came. JJ uh, Thompson has discovered the electrons, so you have to market this thing. JJ Thompson has discovered the electrons. Then proton discovery was happened. Okay, there's so many uh, discoveries were there. Fine. So because of the two opposite charges, we said that the particles attract each other or repel each other. If yeah. the two particles are same charge, then they will repel each other. If the two particles are opposite charge, they will attract each other. Okay, dear? Yeah. Yeah. Electron is yeah. always represented by what? E. Whereas proton is always represented by what? P. P for pair. Okay? So who discovered yeah. electron? J.J. Thompson has discovered the electron. Okay? Clear? Yeah. yeah. According to the structure of atoms, there were so many structures here. The first structure was the Dalton atomic group. After Dalton, Thomson's plum pudding model came. You know pudding? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is a complete easy of what pudding. In that pudding, we are having some plum. Okay? So, JJ, yeah. so Thompson said that the pudding is act as a what? Proton. And the plus act as a what? Electron. So, every time proton is distributed, evenly distributed throughout the atom, where electrons are in that. Right? It yeah. is embedded in that. Okay? And negative and positive charges are what? Equal in magnitude. If the negative and uh, positive values are not equal in magnitude, then it will be said to be as a what? Iron. A what? Iron. Iron. I-O-N-S. Iron. Oh. If, if proton will be more in the atom and electron is less in an atom. It is positive. P is what? Positive. So it is considered to be as a what? Positive charge ion. And positive so charge. Yes, same. So more uh, protons means positive charge and more electrons means negative charge. Right. Okay. And the positive charge ion is known as what? Cation. Okay. Yeah. Cations are available in where? In your metal. And metals are what? Donor of electron. Donors means what? Giving the electron. If you give the electron, obviously electron quantity will be what? Less. Because in a stable atom, if we are talking about stable atom, stable atom is what? That is equal number of protons and electrons. Clear? Yeah. Huh? If the number of protons and electrons are not equal, then it is known as what? Unstable. Unstable. And it is formed in the ions. Just like you can mm -hmm. see here, it is known as iron. What iron? Cation. 
when when proton is more than electron so it becomes what positive charge so it is where we find positive charge ion on in metal so what metal do they donate the electron why they donate the electron to form what bond understood yeah that bond is what two types okay in that in that the bonding are of what two types one are what co uh, if metal Combined with non-metal, it is known as what ionic bond. If metal combined with metal, it is known as what metallic bond. Understood? Metal means what? If what do you mean by that? If positive charge combined with positive charge, then it is said to be as a what? Metallic bond. If positive charge combined with the non-metallic bond, negative charge. If metal combined with non-metal. Okay. I will explain you non-metal also. Just now you understand. If the positive combined with negative, positive is what? Metal. Negative is what? Non-metal. If a metal combined with non-metal, it is known as what? Ionic mm -hmm. bond. Clear, dear? Yeah. But what's the cation? The, this... Positive charge is known as what? Cation. Okay. Okay. Written to you? Yeah. Okay. Now, if what we have seen, if proton is equal to electron stable, if proton is greater than electron cation, if proton is less than electron, so it becomes what? More negative charge. Right? That negative yeah. charge is what? N I N. How to remember? Negative charge is for a what? N. So number of N is what? More in N I N. So that is a simple way to remember. Okay. okay? Yeah. Now, what an I N you get? In non metals. Okay? So when an iron make a form, why they make a bond? So an iron are what? An iron are what? Acceptor of electron. And become. More, obviously, if you accept more electrons, you will be what? Negative. So, why they accept the electrons? To form a bond. How many bonds are there? Again, two types. What? When positive combined with negative, it is known as what? It is known as what? Ionic bond. Positive is what? Metal. Negative is what? Non-metal. Right, dear? Yeah. Or we can say when cation combined with an ion element, it makes a what type of bond? Ionic bond. When non-metal combined with non-metal. That means negative combined with negative, it forms a what? Covalent bond. And that's what we have yeah. Okay. 
I write it down after class because you're recording. Yeah, I will take it everybody. So what we have understood? So what we have understood that the bond is the three types, right? Yeah. One is what? When for metal combined with metal, that is positive combined with positive is known as what? Metallic bond. Example. Uh, lithium. Lithium combined with lithium. Okay. It becomes what? Alike. So it will be a what? Metallic bond. If Na combines with Na, it becomes what? Na2. That is also a what? Metallic bond. I will explain you this one also in a detail. But I don't think so that it is deeply needed for you. Just understand. Because in the periodic table, the metal, non-metal will be given to you. Fine. Now, yeah. metal combined with non-metal. Because deep knowledge in this chapter, I don't think so you need it. That's it. So this is what positive combined with negative. So that's what? Ionic bond. Just like Na is what? Metal. Chlorine is what? Non-metal. You can see the periodic table. It is there. Written. So it will become what? Ionic bond. NaCl. Okay? Now, yeah. the third bond is what? When non-metal combines with non-metal. Example, that is negative combines with negative. It's called covalent bond. Best example, oxygen combines with oxygen becomes O2. So this is your what? Covalent bond. Clear to you? Yeah. Okay. So this is about the Thompson model. So Thompson sir has said that everywhere is electron proton is there. Pudding is what your proton, and plums are what your electron. Now, wait, a cobalt, wait, a covalent bond bond is negative plus negative, right? Which one here? The covalent. Yes, negative and negative. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Negative and negative is your covalent bond. Now. Now Rutherford. Rutherford has done wall fall experiment. Wait a At the time he carried out the experiment, the atom was thought to be a blob of positive charge with negative electrons embedded inside it. Yeah. With negative electrons embedded inside it. Now Rutherford set up an experiment to direct a beam of alpha particles, which he knew to be heavy, positively charged particles, and we now know to be the nuclei of helium atoms, through a very thin gold foil. The brass can in the centre of the, of the picture contains a small americium 241 source producing alpha particles. Most of the particles are absorbed in the brass. There is a small opening. So what are alpha particles? Alpha particles are those particles which are positive charge. Okay, dear? Yeah. Producing a... At center, which charge is there? In an atom. At center... Um, suppose if I'm taking an atom. Okay. And uh, these are the orbits. So at center, what charge is there? Protons. 
and neutrons. So neutron and neutrons are the foreign component. So these are what? Mm. Protons? Protons are what? Positive charge and electrons are revolving around it? Mm. Nucleus. First orbit is holding two electrons. Next orbit is holding eight electrons. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Why they are charging? Yeah. Why the first is taking one? Why the, the second is taking eight? That also we will study in this class. So if I take if I take an alpha particle, alpha particle is what positive charge. So if I see the electron, it will what go back? It will what repel? It will what repel? It will what repel? But what happens if it attract go to the positive charge? That is a nucleus. It will bounce back. Wait, what are you bringing there? Like an object? See, if alpha particle hit the nucleus, we didn't find the nucleus. But with the help of experiment, we have seen that some of the alpha, I will show you in the experiment. Some of the alpha particles are bound back. In 100, there is only 3, 2, or 5, or 6, like that. Very few. Okay. Most of the alpha particle go. Oh. Fine. Some of the alpha particles deviate also. Understood? Yeah. It means they are very yeah. near to the nucleus. That's why they repel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now see this experiment. That the experiment explains. A beam of alpha particles, they pass through a gold foil, which is uh, about 1.5 microns in thickness, and they are then. So, why they have taken gold foil? Because, because gold foil is very ductile in nature. Okay? Yeah. Very ductile. Yeah. You can? Yeah. Um, if you hammer, you can thin it very well. Very thin, you can do it. Okay. Can you repeat that? I don't understand. Why do we use gold foil? Hammer, if you hammer, it will be very thin. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rather than any other metal. Because you can see 0 0.1 gram of gold also, you can uh, make a very good, good ornaments also. Right? Yeah. Yeah. To measure the scattering rate as a function of angle. Now, the experiment that he and his colleagues carried out was very laborious. It involved them sitting for hours in a dark, dark room, holding a tiny fluorescent screen and looking just by eye for flashes of light on the screen. We've replicated that with modern detector technology. In its current position, behind the foil, it will measure one count every few seconds. Previously, you might have seen there are so many alpha particles that have been deviated. Wait, I'm showing you. See here. These numbers, can you see it? There yeah. are so many. Right? In blacks. In that black, how many alpha particles deviated back? 57 only. Yeah. Okay, it means they hit the nucleus. Next alpha particle go straight or without touching the uh, center. Find here? Yeah. As Rutherford deduced, most of the gold atoms empty space, so the alpha particle just goes straight through, doesn't see anything, and goes through in a straight line. Occasionally, one of the particles will come close enough to the nucleus of the gold atom that it will be deflected by the electric field from the positive nucleus. If it comes at a glancing blow, it will be deflected through a small angle. If it hits it head on, it will just bounce straight back.
And it's, it's fascinating, I think, to, to them that this was, this was telling us something very important that we didn't know about the very deep structure of matter. It showed that the, the atom had a heavy nucleus with mostly empty space with electrons distributed around it, which is exactly the picture we now have. It was also the start of particle physics. What Rutherford was doing, what we're doing here, is taking a beam of particles, firing them at a, at a target, looking at the way the particles are scattered, and from that deducing what was going on inside the target. And 100 years ahead, we now have the Large Hadron Collider, where we do the same thing. We fire a beam of particles at a target. In that case, the target is another beam coming the other way. We look for the particles being scattered out of that collision process and try to deduce what was going on in the collision from the behaviour of the scattered particles. And all that comes from Rutherford's original idea of firing a beam at a target. So in a century, we've come from an apparatus that would fit on the desk, that was at the cutting edge of physics, to the Large Hadron Collider, which is 27 kilometres in circumference. Do you have another deal? Yeah, some of the particles get deflected, which is most of them, and then like a very little amount gets absorbed. And blocked. Like or like, sorry, uh, was that re no? Oh, repelled? Repelled. Oh. And those particles are going to what? Positive charge because we did something is there at the center. Yeah, and that is known as what nucleus. Okay? Yeah. Now, after the experiment of the pressure force, he said that, good, there is a proton at the center. There is a proton at the center. He said electrons are also revolving to the center. That is also true. But after revolution, it will penetrate towards the nucleus. Are you getting the point or not? Yeah, they are a neutral. Because of the acceleration of the electron, because of the acceleration of the electron, electron loses its energy and fall in the nucleus. Yeah, this is not true. Because atoms doesn't produce electrons, whatever electrons they are having, that much they will be had. Are you understanding the point or not? Is it because electrons can't keep on moving and moving, so it loses energy? Just like if you are having five notebooks, you will remain having five notebooks. You can't produce five notebooks right now. Can you be? No. No. Similarly, electron can't produce, so atom can't produce an electron. Whatever the electron, uh, an atom, whatever the amount of electrons, it is means there because of the atomic number, because of the atomic mass, whatever the electrons are there. Suppose if I am saying about hydrogen, hydrogen is having only one electron. If it is true, then the nuclear, the electron will go, 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 go and then penetrate into the nuclear. It means after that there is no electron. Is that so? No. And elements can't produce electrons. They are not human beings, no? Correct? Yeah. That is the reason this theory has been cancelled. But the nuclear topic that they ha he has said that both sir has modified it. Both are said, correct. At the center, we are having a nucleus, here is having a proton and neutron. And electrons are revolving around the in its fixed orbit. These are not orbit. In their fixed orbit and in the fixed amount of electrons. And the number of electrons, how did we know? With the four has sir has given the formula. 2 and to the power square. And yeah. if you want number of orbit. So if my first orbit, if I'm talking about the first orbit, the n value will become what? 1. So how many electrons uh, first orbit can hold? 
that is 2 times 1 square that is 2. It means first orbit will hold only electrons. Understood here? Yeah. yeah. Now, how many L or, um, electrons will the second orbit will be taken? So, N value will be what? 2. Because we are talking about the second orbit. If we are talking about the second orbit, 2 times 2 square. If this is equal to 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. It means second orbit can hold how many electrons? 8 electrons. Here? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I mean, 9 electrons. So, so the first orbit holds 1. Electron and the second orbit holds two. Yeah, you have to mm -hmm. drive it. Don't remember. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Now yeah. tell me, if we are going to the third orbit, so how many electrons third orbit can hold? Come on. Eighteen. How many? Eighteen. Correct answer. Understood now? Yeah. This was the best. Discovery and these orbits are known as what your energy levels. Okay. Okay. And these yeah. orbits are also known as what shell. The first orbit is known as what K shell. Second orbit L shell. Third was just like that K L F L O P like that. Wait, but I thought the maximum um electrons the outer shell can hold is eight. So yes. how can there be a third orbit? Maximum outer C is here. That is a different. That will be we will study here. What is there? There is a levels. Just like that is a rule. Okay, I'm teaching you that one also. There is a rule. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d10. Okay, then 4f. Uh, D10 ke kya tha? 4f40. Have you said it, you think? No. Ah, then it will be trouble. Okay, can we first finish the atoms packet and then come back to this? That will be good. See, the thing that you have studied, that is the outermost. See, every element, every element talk, I'm talking about in the periodic table, they want to follow octate rule. Octate rule states that in the outermost orbit there should be what? Eight electrons. Because of that, one is to two, two is two, two, three, uh, three, six, like that. Fine. So that is the thing yeah. that we will study in our further classes. When we will go to your US curriculum physics. Okay, because right now we are studying basic chemistry, not basic chemistry. When we are started uh, starting uh, U.S. curriculum chemistry, that time we will study with that one because that is also there in your syllabus. Okay, so when uh, every element want to become a what octet in nature, why? Because all the normal gas, the outermost shell is having what eight electrons. Understood? They are having yeah. how many electrons? Eight electrons. And if any element is having eight electrons, they hardly, rarely take participate in a chemical combination. Why? Because if you want the uh, five chocolate. Okay. Find it up. 
if you are having if you do want five chocolates in your birthday suppose and your parents are also purchased five chocolates you are satisfied yes or no yeah correct so you are satisfied because of that reason same way if the electron wants for eight electrons in the outermost shell if they already have eight electrons so they will neither take neither share right is that called the balance it's balance electrons and balance okay. shell the outermost shell is known as what balance shell and the outermost electrons are known as what balance electrons see it beta yeah what did i say the the outermost shell suppose this is your nuclear this is k shell this is k l shell suppose l is the outermost shell having four electrons and this is two so the orbit is known as the orbit of shell the shell is known as what not l shell is there but it is known as what valence shell and the outermost electrons are known as what valence okay. electron so how many valence electrons are there four now suppose if these electrons wants to make a bond instead of four i am taking three okay so this is what uh, ha ni li bi ba so this is for boron i am i am doing okay you have to learn the periodic table also which one are yeah okay just like we have learned all the periodic table every element hi li bi ba so now for the number was it pata kala kaka sathi vakra mazi koni ki usne gaadi anti banta व्यवस्था यह तो नज़मो सरू रफ्तार अंक का इंसान तक नहीं आएगी कंप्लीट आई सी मिस जिया आफ्टर जिया नो वी यू आल्सो हैव टू लर्न आफ्टर जिया ओके यू हैव टू लर्न देयर इज नो ऑप्शन लेफ्ट हाँ बट इफ यू आर यू आर गेटिंग द पीरियोडिक टेबल एंड ऑल राइट व्हाट इट In US, sir, you guys are getting the periodic table and everything, correct? Yeah, we're doing it next year. I have one right now, but it doesn't. I'm not sure. I don't think it has a mass number on it. Okay, fine. So uh, suppose the valence electrons are how much? Three. This is your valence shell. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. if it's three, if they donate the three electrons, it will become what? Octet in nature. That is your helium. It will come under the category of what helium, right? The electrons mm -hmm. that they are donating, the number of how many number of electrons they are donating? Number of electrons donated are three. I'm talking about different thing, okay? Number of electrons they have donated three. So these are known as what valency. Valency is what? How many electrons it is being donated or accepted to form element? What form? Octet nature. Wait, I thought valency is like the combining capacity of um an element. And. How many numbers of electrons and protons they are donating? Accepting not protons, electrons. Either they are donating or either they are accepting. And if they donate or if they accept, then they make a bond with the element. Okay. Right or not? Yeah. Just like Na. Na is what? Na is having what? Ha he li bi ba so na o ba. उट 
सेवन एट तो वन टू एट नाइन टेन तो टेन हो गया एंड दिस वन इज योर वॉट इलेवन राइट दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन वॉन्ट्स टू डोनेट so that it will come under the category of what optic nature so valence and like valence shell is this one right valency is how much valence electron is how much one and valency is how much one so if i make a bit theory ha he ha he li bi ba sa na o pa ni na ma ga ओके Now, if the if the sodium donate, so here valence shell is this is your valence shell here, right? Yeah. Valence electrons are how much? Seven. Mm -hmm. And valency is how much? Valency. What is valency? What is valency? How many number of electrons either they donate or either they accept? So here with the sodium, it will accept. One electron here, so valency will become what one. And when it takes one electron, it becomes what octet in nature, right? Eight electrons are there in the outermost orbit. Now it wait the yeah, wait the oct the octet in nature is like if it like does it accept an electron, like it loses an electron. But it should have the if this is like sodium. Sodium is losing the electron. Then the it will become what octet in nature because it will go to the back. So this will be your valence shell. Okay. Right. And Wait, so why? So why is the valency one? Why? Why is the valency one but the valence electrons is seven? Because how many and valency is what? How many electrons it donate or how many electrons it accept? So it is accepting. What? One electron. That's why valency is one. Sodium so, is donating how many electrons? One electron. That's why valency is one. So it's donating and rejecting electrons from other elements. Obviously, if, we, if we will not donate, the how bond will form, right? Yeah. Form a bond. There should be just like you and me. I am guiding. Right, you are paying the attention. That's why we are making a bond, na. No? I also feel nice that yes, I will be with Chakri. She is very yeah. nice. She is taking interest. If you will not take any interest, I am saying, saying, saying. I'm like, I will also lose the interest. Sorry, I will not do so. Yes or no? Yeah. So, form a bond. Okay. Donating and accepting should always be there. So, how many electrons I am donating, or how many electrons I am accepting, that is your what valency. Clear, Vicha? Yeah. yeah. No doubt in the box. Yeah. So these are the shells that we are discussed right now, and shells are not your energy levels. Okay, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. So neutron was discovered by what? Cadwin. Correct. And we discovered the neutron, which is there in the nucleus, which is having no charge, and its mass is almost equal to the proton. Fine. Yeah. Good. So how electrons are distributed in the shell? That also I taught you, right? That is two n to the power square. Right here. Yeah. Fine. 
up till here, we'll go through it. Mm. Up till 4.5, just go through it. Any doubt, ask me. Okay. Atomic number is what? In an atom. So not atom, in an element. Suppose if I'm talking about sodium, sodium atomic number is what? 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 11 is your what? Proton as well as electron. So atomic number is, there will be is what? Equal number of proton and electron which is present in an atom of the representative, the respective element. Okay. Wait, but I thought atomic atomic number is just the number of protons. Atomic number is total number of protons. Correct. But if I'm talking about the electron also, the electrons will also having the same amount of protons. Why? If they are unequal, then it will come under the category of what? Ions. Either it will be cation or either it will be comes under the category of and I am. Yeah. Right? So they should yeah. have always be equal. So proton, total proton is known as what your atomic number. So here, total protons are how much? 11. So electron quantity will also how much? 11. Now what is mass number? Mass number which is denoted by the name, denoted by A, it is having what? Total number of protons as well as neutrons. Okay? Yeah. So if I'm talking about carbon whose atomic number is 6 and mass number is 12, suppose. So 6 is denoted by Z and uh, 12 is denoted by A and C is denoted by what? X. So the expression is written as F Z A or in some of the periodic table it is also mentioned as A and Z. Okay, yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah. So if I'm talking about the atomic number is having total proton is having what? Six. So total protons are six. The electron will be how much? That will also be six to so make it stable element. Yeah. So how many is the neutron? So atomic six. mass. Now we will study about the atomic mass. So atomic mass is equal to total number of protons and neutrons. So here atomic mass is how much? 12. So right? So 12 is equal to 6 plus n. So 12 minus 6 is equal to 6 minus 6 plus n. So stretch C, both sides. So this will become what? 6 is equal to n. So that is your total number of neutrons. Is this clear? Yeah. Now, what do you mean by the word isotopes? That is a doubt you are having. Yeah. I, there are three things are there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Those three things are what? Isotopes? Okay. Isotopes, isotones, and isobars. Yeah. Isotopes are having same number, atomic number. Atomic number will be same. And different mass number. Ah. That's all I know about isotopes. Correct. Isotopes are having same Atomic number. Different mass number. Example hydrogen one one, hydrogen one two, hydrogen one three, right? Yeah. So one, two, three are what? Different, different mass numbers. Clear? Yeah. yeah. Is that all I have to know about isotopes? 
It's just like a term. Package. Oh. Now what about isobar? Sorry, isotopes. So, oh, I don't Six know about terms. Neutron. They are having what? Same number of neutron. They are having what? Different? Different what? Atomic number also. And mass number also. Clear? Yeah. yeah. Example, C. Uh, instead of C, I will suggest. Yeah, we can write. Um, it will be C. Carbon is having how many? Uh, 6, 12. So 12 minus 6, 6. Um, oxygen. Better I will take oxygen. Oxygen is how much? 816. Right? Yeah. Six, uh, 8, 9, 10, 8, 16, 8, 6, 6, no. Uh, these are not and neutrons are not different, no? Mm. Wait a second, I'm just thinking about uh, this one. And this one, isobars, isobars are having what? Same? Mass number and different. And different? Atomic number. Yeah, it's the opposite of isotope. Yes. Example. Uh, CA 40, 20, calcium. Okay. And uh, let's take potassium 40 and this will be of scientific. This is okay. Isotones example, it will be um, isotones, 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 Things. Carbon was there. Carbon with carbon. Carbon is having 14 or 6. Wait a sec. I have to check my periodic table. It's a, I don't really need examples. I just like look at the point. Just maybe then also we have to pick examples. Just I'm just taking out the periodic table. Uh, Also in the group, could you please send me the correct periodic table to print out? Because the one that I have doesn't have the mass number on it. Okay, I will send you the periodic table that I am using. I am ripping this one. I am ripping this one. Space is not working. So. I will send you what I have. Yeah. I have the uh, this image. It's not good. They are this is not so good. Yeah. 
seriously, I can't think. Forget about it. Forget. So isotones are what? Different atomic number, but same neutrons are there. 12 minus 6 is 6, 16 minus 8 is 8. So these are what? Different. Uh, okay. Understood you? Yeah. I will uh, give you uh, this one. Sixteen minus eight is eight. Sixteen carbon will be uh, I have checked carbon will be fourteen. It's not twelve, it's fourteen. Carbon is fourteen. So six my uh, fourteen minus six is eight. Sixteen minus six is eight. So same neutrons. Here. Yeah. yeah. If we are talking taking carbon 14 and oxygen 16 as a mass. So this will be your what? Isotopes. Okay. So yes. here. I have taken a little bit of time here. I have to check the periodic table and all. Uh, fine? Yeah. So in this way, this is the end of the chapter. So your duty is to revise all the contents of this chapter, solve all the back questions of this chapter, make a notes of this chapter. I will give you the test paper of this chapter so that you can do the practice at home and that will be your homework of today. Wait, I will so, so do I do the exercises or do I do the tests you give me?